everyone, this is Emma and welcome to online video course Piano Well. This is lesson number three and uh, we're working with training book that you can download for free on my website artofpianotechnique.com as well as my other books. Uh, the link is in the description to this video or uh, if you're watching <laughs> from your laptop uh, you can probably see it out there. <laughs> so, um, if you already have this book, open it on the page 13. And um, today's topic is intonation and weight. Intonation is a certain technique uh, to sing and play an interval. So basically you sing an interval with glissando, just like we did in previous lesson. But now you sing it slowly and with resistance. And uh, I can give you the good, good analogy here that I recently discovered. I was <laughs> swimming in the uh, swimming pool <laughs> and I paid attention how much resistance in the water when I was like mm, moving my hands. And it's pretty the same feeling when I'm doing intonation. Um, so, for example, if we move the hand um, through the air, we don't feel any resistance. And that's why uh, this moving is quite easy for us. When we do the same in the water, then we have resistance of water, and that's why uh, we start moving our hand naturally slower. So, the same resistance you should feel when you see notes, it's like a natural one. Don't give too much tension to this, but we need to do this uh, to feel this distance between notes uh, with our vocal cords. For example, without resistance it would sound this way, just easy going, so with resistance. Just like you're singing in the water, <laughs> if it's possible somewhere <laughs> in another world. Alright, um, so this is about intonation. Weight is actually um, how to say. Some teachers call it arm weight, but I cannot call it arm weight because um, this freedom of body, freedom of, I'm sorry, this free energy um, I can feel in my whole body, not only in, my, in arms. I really feel it in whole body and basically this technique, I will explain about this a little bit later in the video, but basically what you do is just you feel the freedom that goes to your feet that rises from them, passes through your torso, arms and pours out to the instrument. So this is what weight is. Um, now the main thing that you can maintain this feeling um, while playing because you express weight through intonation. Uh, this is, I think, an amazing thing because many students struggle with that. Teachers suggest, you know, teachers give advice like um, feel freedom in all your body and then like feel um, relax your hand and just bring your arm to the keyboard, yeah, like you bring your heavy arm to the keyboard and just go and start playing and it will be there. No, unfortunately it's not there. As soon as students start playing, this feeling of freedom just fades away, just disappears because feeling of, of weight is not connected with musical means, musical means of expression. So now when you express weight through intonation, you are able to maintain this feeling while playing. Yes. Um, 
so also intonation and weight um, are necessary for good sound production, expressive melody and for other musical means of expression that we're gonna learn in this coming lessons such as articulations, dynamics, harmony, musical speech, phrasing, form, emotional image and artistry. Uh, let me tell you that uh, make, also making good cantabile legato and making full three-dimensional expressive melodious forte and piano and making <clears throat> expressive and even passages is only possible with intonation and weight. This is like the basic of good technique of good sound production. Also intonation and weight helps your wrist to, uh, to be free and flexible while playing scale, arpeggio, octave or chord technique. So yeah, that's it I guess. Now uh, let me show you how you actually can how you can feel this weight and pass it to the instrument while playing. And I'm gonna move my bench over there <laughs> to show you some exercise. Um, it's gonna be funny, I guess. <laughs> Never did it before. All right, give me a second. All right, guys. So here I am sitting on my bench, um, probably somewhere closer to the edge of the bench. Um, just make sure that you you're not sitting on the soft soft sofa because that would be much harder for you to to feel um, this technique. So this is initial position. When you sit, your back is straight and your hands are on, on your laps. Now we're gonna uh, feel this weight. What I suggest is start breathing. And you can breathe through your mouth, through your nose, it's up to you. And while you're exhaling, try to feel relaxing of your body. Alright, so I'm starting feeling <laughs> relaxation. <laughs> My voice is gonna be changed now a little bit. So when you feel this, now you're starting, you, you're starting to bend forward till the very end when backs of your of your hands on the floor and your head is hanging down and please do not strain your neck so let's go now from this position feel all the relaxation how all the relaxation comes to your feet and <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> uh, you know, this position that we just did remind me, I used to be a very big fan of Mr. Bean. And some of you who probably watch his episodes could remember uh, one of the episodes when he was getting bored uh, sitting in the church listening to a pastor and he was trying to entertain himself with some gum or candy, I don't remember exactly, but eventually <laughs> eventually he, he fell asleep and before he actually fell down to his knees he went the same way, he went like this and then he went down <laughs> <laughs> and from this position then he continued and just fell down on the floor on his, to his knees. That, so yeah, just be like Mr. Bean here. <laughs> okay, so okay, so uh, when you're there, when you come back, be sure that your hands are not going that way, this way, that they're sim simple, uh, how to say, like mm, Slide upward along your legs and at the very end you lean a little bit forward this way 
and again keep your back straight. So I'm gonna show you this again. So this is what I'm doing. You see? Just pay attention what my hands just did. Now I'm gonna describe what I'm doing along the way. What I feel, I'm sorry. So what I actually feel is that the freedom that is in my feet starts, ri starts rising up from them, then passes through my legs, pelvis, torso, shoulders, through arms, and then pour out through my palms to my laps. And let's just imagine this is your keyboard, okay? So I'm describing it. Okay, I'm feeling freedom. Now I'm getting back to initial position. And this free energy passes through my legs, through my back, shoulders, arms, and here I am. Alright, so it goes this way. Now, when you freeze, like, don't do like this. Because when you freeze like that, your energy will stuck in your back. And there is no way you can deliver it to your laps. Uh, so one more time. I will show it the very last time. So what I'm doing. Back straight. Breathing. With, ex ex with exhale, I'm feeling freedom. I prefer to breathe through my mouth, I don't know. I feel more freedom if you do like this. Okay. Now I'm gonna use this weight. I'm going down. I feel this free energy somewhere in my feet. Now I'm going back. It passes through my legs, through my back, torso, through my arms, palms and in my laps. That's it. So now let's come back to uh, to the keyboard. I will show you how to gather this way without actually bending forward. Because apparently you cannot do this <laughs> right before playing. <laughs> that would be too funny. All right. Okay, I'm back. I'm back to the keyboard, and uh, now when you. Um, Gathered weight before playing, what you do is you sit, very important thing, we sit on the edge of the bench because when we want to now, when we want to pass weight to the instrument, this is the best position to make it. Because what would happen if you sit quite deep and comfortable, <laughs> you give yourself another chance um, to to not deliver the energy to the keyboard. I think I'm getting tired. I'm really forgetting English. So what I'm trying to say, when you see too deep, your energy will stuck here. Stuck on your palace or in your back. And we want to make this angle. So it goes directly to the instrument. Don't forget we still keep back straight to be able to play into the instrument, not into the floor. Alright. So basically what you do is... Uh, you um, feel freedom in your body. It's just the matter of one moment. You just feel it right away. And then you lean a little bit forward and you feel it in your feet. Then you feel how it, it rises from them, passes through your legs, back. And when it's ready to pour out through your palms, to, to the keyboard, it's somewhere here, you start singing or playing. So right now I'm gonna show you how, I'm gonna show you through singing how actually weight changes sound and uh, intonation. It uh, 
it improves them, it uh, makes them being full, three-dimensional and free. Uh, so let me think first the interval without weight and then with weight and you will definitely uh, feel the difference. So without weight. And with weight. And I'm not making it louder um, on purpose. It's kind of natural thing. And back, so again without What's wrong with my hair? Without weight. Then with weight. So absolutely the same way, the same way this freedom um, helps your arm and finger and hands and all your body um, remain this um, relaxation while playing. It's very important thing. So now I'm going to show you how to gather weight and actually intonate uh, interval internally without actually singing out loud but definitely we're going to sing internally and our voice will be um, the imagined sound. So what we're gonna do is imagine sound first, then you get a weight and then you start playing and when you play you intonate this distance between these notes with weight. Again, maybe I should show you first without weight how, how it looks like. So without weight it would be just kind of flat, you see. Now with weight. And here here go the sound just the sound just start uh, flowing. Besides, it's a very pleasant feeling. And back. And at this point you start feeling that you're actually singing on the instrument. In Russia this is a very famous expression. You need to sing on the instrument, but again nobody could actually explain exactly how to sing on the instrument. So this is how you do this. Okay, I'm done. So we're coming back to page 13, intonation and weight. And let's read assignment number one. Assignment one and two will be just about singing. No playing there. So what to do? Sing an interval with intonation. Um, move to the right. Okay. So the first column you make it with movement to the right. First sing interval with movement. both of notes we sing uh, straight to the right and next step you sing an interval with intonation again we do not use weight here so far and um, I do start with this second but maybe for you it would be easier to start with third or fourth um, because you will feel actually distance between notes because in second there is such a small distance here you can barely feel it so anyway uh, let me sing for you down and down we sing uh, both of notes first just with movement to the left and then with intonation Mm -hmm. And um, let's scroll down and this 
this is again uh, a reminder on uh, the next page. It says, lead the voice horizontally. So please don't forget that. Uh, now let's go to assignment two. Now you're going to sing into the vast with intonation and wait. Um, so let's go sing an interval with intonation first. And then sing interval with intonation and wait. And please keep resistance and intonation and gather weight before singing. First, feel how freedom passes to your feet. I really apologize about this thing. It it cleans the air con and I have no idea how to switch it off and <laughs> I need to make this easier but I cannot okay so it's tough <laughs> so the good thing it doesn't long too much okay so gather weight before singing first feel how freedom passes to your feet then rises from them passes through your legs torso arms and pours out through your voice so let's sing. Now with weight. Next step. If it's too high for you, you can sing lower actually. I prefer a high tone. I think I have soprano. And let's finish this column. So, <laughs> finish. <laughs> uh, and scroll down to page 15, assignment 3. Now we're gonna uh, sing with intonation weight and play at the same time. And this is a very, very big table, so many things to play, but uh, we can do this, no worries. Okay, sing and play an interval with intonation and weight. Okay, play an interval with movement. Now you see I uh, wrote from first finger, so now we play interval, but we don't don't play the way we played in previous lesson for position change. Remember, it's the same finger. No, now we play this way. Okay, so let's play the first interval. First, we just play. Make sure that we make um, good movement with our wrist. Do not raise your wrist, please keep your arm and hand free. Second step, sing and play an interval with intonation and weight. Okay, so now we get the weight. while imagining it in the sounding of your voice. Now three steps. First we imagine sounds with movement to the right, then we gather weight, and then we play while intonating uh, notes with weight. 
I'm gonna like Michelle. Next step, let me go. Um, next, actually, you can also play the same second from second finger. And you do the same first play and play and sing. Then imagine, gather weight and wait. And your hand is absolutely free. Then you do the same from third from third finger. So we make sure that all the fingers participate in this exercise. Then you can uh, make the same with left hand, then go to another interval. And then with both hands on you play, let me show the last step. So you measure, you get a weight, and you play. time let me remind you um, I'm doing this with second you may start with third or fourth first because it will be easy for you to feel intonation and weight uh, okay on the next page there's again a reminder lead the voice horizontally don't raise your wrist on the second note keep the same level and don't strain your arms as usually and the last assignment of this lesson, um, assignment four, now you uh, play with intonation and weight sequence of notes. So let's read. Sing a sequence of notes with intonation and weight. So you sing this way. sequence of notes with intonation and weight. Play a sequence of notes with intonation and weight while imagining it in sounding of your voice. Imagine these three notes, gather weight and play. internally intonate second up and second down and uh, you see this one big sequence um, let me show you how to make this I would probably start okay how about we're playing with left hand first let's see the sequence too slow I can barely breathe now <laughs> I'm just trying to show you as my best <laughs> so now we are singing and playing the sequence with intonation and weight a little bit faster all right
The last step, placing on soft notes as intonation of weight while imagining you can the sound of your voice. Mm -hmm. First, make sure that you can imagine the whole sequence. Then get a weight and play. is that you don't have to, to breathe. I don't know how it actually works, but you don't have to breathe. When I'm doing this, I think I'm breathing every time a little bit. I don't know. Let me try. <laughs> it's funny. Never thought about that. Like. Yeah, this is how I breathe. about how you're breathing while playing, please. <laughs> it will freeze your mind. Do not think about this. Okay, that's it. Uh, see you in the next lesson. Um, enjoy doing this exercise. This is one of my favorite musical means of expression in the whole system. Uh, so you will love to make it, I promise you. And let me know how it's going and uh, have a wonderful day. Um, I wish you, I wish you, today I wish you having peace about everything you have in your life. Doesn't matter if it's good or bad. Peace about this. <laughs> Alright, love you. See you later. Bye.